Hey guys, my name is Danny Goodike and I am from Holland, Michigan. I will study at Cornerstone University and I love soccer. I've served with SportQuest Ministries to their projects in Belgium in 2016, 2017, and I was an intern in 2018. Today we want to talk to you about finances. Finances is one of the most important pieces of your mission trip experience because it requires you to trust God and rely on others so that God can use us to be his hands and feet in the world. Now, some of you may be planning on getting a part-time job to earn the money, or your parents may be able to just pay for it. But the vast majority of people who serve on a sport quest trip raise the cost by asking people to support them. So I want to encourage you with this truth today. When God guides, he always provides. So what that means is that if God is leading you to use your talents and abilities to serve others through a PWP project, then you can be assured that he is planning to provide for you to do just that. He won't lead you to do something, but then leave you hanging when it comes to the finances. When God guides, he always provides. As I was fundraising for my trip in 2017 to go to Belgium, there was about a week before the trip was supposed to leave, and I still had a couple hundred dollars short. Uh, for my fundraising. So I continued to trust in the Lord. I continued to pray that he would provide for me and um, somehow have the few hundred dollars come. And about a couple of days before I was supposed to leave, a donation from my church that was anonymous came through with the exact amount that I needed. And that was such a blessing from the Lord and just proof that when he guides me, he'll also provide. Here's a few tips to get you started. One of the first things you're going to want to do is pray. Ask God to provide through his people and his resources. The second thing you're going to want to do is make a list of about 50 people that you know that may be interested in supporting you. Thirdly, send a personal email, a letter, make a phone call and leave a message or talk to someone on the phone asking for financial support to each person on that list. Lastly, what you want to do is meet with at least 15 of those people face to face and share about your mission and ask them for your support. One of the biggest keys to successfully raising support is to contact people you know in the most personal and practical way possible. Don't just create a GoFundMe page or send a mass email to a huge group of people and expect to raise everything you need. Contact people personally and when possible, meet face to face. This shows them respect and that you care about the relationship, and it will result in much better response than mass communication. You should have already received your project preparation guide in the mail. Be sure to read this carefully as it provides several tips about fundraising. Also, you should have received a sample fundraising letter and SportQuest response cards to help you get started. If you haven't received any of these, let us know and we'll get them to you. I hope this helps encourage you to reach your fundraising goals don't hesitate to reach out to SportQuest if you have any questions or need assistance, we will be happy to help you. You can contact us through our contact page at www.playingwithpurpose.com. Good luck with your fundraising and thanks for watching.